Alright, so this last video will be about the planning component of our practical exam. Okay, so for O-level practical, the planning roughly is about 6 marks. Uh, the more common number of marks is 6 marks, of course, I've seen 4 marks, but normally uh, they will put 6 marks. Lah. Okay, so how do we do planning? As you can see, this is a 2013 uh, question. Alright, so let's go through this planning together. Okay, so we are testing how does the period square of the pendulum right affects determines on on the length of the pendulum okay so they ask us to plan an experiment to investigate the relationship of this right so i want to investigate t square equal to kl so they tell us to give a description and uh, any special precaution you need to take in order to measure error accurately number three is uh, the statement of the graph that you will plot to test the relationship and explanation how k can be found found from the graph right? okay so first of all when you are doing planning question uh, remember these three uh, alphabet letters v i p uh, so what does the this vip not the very important people v stands for variable okay so this is variables then the i is instrument uh, so what are the instruments you are me using uh, to measure the variables right so example for my this experiment i need to measure the length uh, so i want to measure this length right so i need to use a meter rule or half a meter rule okay then i want to measure the period uh, so period i must use a stopwatch right because I need to measure oscillation first, 20 oscillation, then I use the stopwatch to measure the time taken for 20 oscillation. So this is what I mean by instrument. Last but not least is your procedure. Uh, so procedure is how you will carry out. Okay, how you will carry out the so-called the you know the plan to investigate this relationship. Okay, so let's move on to the report. Okay, so first of all, you can see I define right independent variable. Independent variable is the length of the pendulum, uh, so it's always the so called the x right. Uh, then after that, the dependent variable is the period of the pendulum. Uh, then the constants is the the mass of the pendulum, so and so forth. Uh, you need to give all these three things. Okay, then after that, I proceed on to the procedure. Then I say, I, say, I just say set up the experiment as shown above. Uh, so measure the length of the pendulum using a meter rule so this is what i call the instrument right so this is the i and after that i roughly say hey i displace the pendulum at a small angle and allow it to oscillate a few times to stabilize then i start the stopwatch uh, so this one is your instrument also then okay so i forget to mention this one is the v la. okay and number four we say that let the pendulum os oscillate for 20 times and record the timing as t1 and repeat the experiment for the same length and record as t2 okay number six step number six uh, i say determine the average time using i can i can put in all these equation uh, all right so there's no problem and after that period can be calculated using this formula average time divided by 20 oscillation uh, then last but not least number step number eight uh, i just say repeat step two to seven but for different length of the pendulum by increasing the length of the pendulum uh, so this is the last step lah, for the procedure and i say get a total of six data set okay so this is important okay now we move on to the analysis part analysis is like plotting the graph uh, because if you look at this uh you know this thing right they ask us the third point they ask us a statement of the graph will plot to test the relationship and number fourth point is ask us to find how do we find the k k value uh, so this one we must include inside our planning okay under the analysis part so analysis i will say i will plot t squared against l and if the relationship holds uh, this will form a linear graph uh, this one is a bit like your a match right under the li linear law when you plot t square versus length you will get a straight line but if you plot t against length, uh, you will not get a straight line. Alright, so that is more of your emacs already. Okay, then number 10. Number 10 is about finding the gradient, right? So I say plot t squared against l with an expected gradient of k. Or you can just put gradient of k, la, doesn't matter. And an expected y-intercept of 0. Because there's no, if you look at the 
formula right or the equation t square equal to kl there is no y intercept i mean there's no uh, so called y intercept right so it must pass through the origin uh, so that's how i do my analysis okay last but not least we try to put in reliability means that how i can ensure that the experiment that i'm doing uh, will be will have minimal sources of error okay so this is to minimize error okay so uh, why should i put in this because if you look at the planning question right the second point an indication of special precaution that will take to measure l accurately uh, so they want us to measure l as accurately as possible so when I want to measure L as accurately as possible, right, I must ensure that the meter rule beside this uh, so-called this length of the pendulum uh, is vertical. Okay, so I must roughly say, uh, how do I ensure that this meter rule is vertical? Right? And to increase our reading, uh, our accuracy of our reading, uh, maybe I can say I put a marker. A marker means a pointer, uh, not a marker, a pointer here and a pointer here. To rough to determine what is the exact length uh, or to minimize our parallax error all right so this is uh, some precaution we can put inside so use a set square or pointer to read the length of the pendulum uh, then after that i can also say use a retort stand and clamp and clamp the meter rule vertically next to the pendulum rather than using free hand to hold the meter rule all right and number three, okay, number three, I can just maybe add on. Uh, maybe I say, hey, start, this, uh, start and stop the stopwatch when the pendulum is at the amplitude, okay? As the experimenter will be able to start and stop the stopwatch in time. Because when the pendulum is at the amplitude, it is not moving uh, instantaneously. So instantaneous rest, right? So uh, if I start and stop the stopwatch uh, at the amplitude, uh, I find it easier to start and stop. Compared to uh, I start the and start and stop the stopwatch at the center of the pendulum, uh, because at the center of the pendulum the pendulum is swing, is uh moving too fast. So when I want to start, I mean I want to start and stop the stopwatch, uh, is rather inaccurate. So I try to do it when the pendulum is at the amplitude. All right. So these are a few ways you can uh approach your so called planning question, All right? So just remember V I P. And not to forget your analysis because analysis is uh, very important. So you want to test the relationship, you should plot what against what. And you want to find the so-called the gradient or the unknown k, right? You must use uh you, you must find a gradient. Alright. So that is all for the planning part of the practical component.